today we go over something called tabletop bridge. So tabletop bridge uh, is often botched up pretty bad because people don't understand where their hips should be and where their shoulders should be. Um, it's a commonly used yoga, yoga move, but we're gonna make it a little more engaged because if you can engage through your pattern, you can be a lot more stable and get more benefit from each rep, okay? So I'm gonna show you both the double leg tabletop bridge to start with and a single leg as well as you progress and get more advanced. So if you're doing a double leg tabletop bridge, for you beginners out there, I recommend using a block or a roller like so between your legs just to kind of get a little more connection through your glutes and your midline. So you set up in your bridge position, which is feet you know, relatively close together here, and your hands are facing back, okay? Now you can see like off the bat, I'm already kind of slouching here with my shoulders and it prevents you from creating better connection to the floor. So what I'm gonna do first is retract my shoulders back like so. I'm gonna push my hands into the ground to create a little bit of connection into the floor. So from here, I'm gonna squeeze my obliques really hard, crush the roller, and get a little bit airborne. But the moment I get airborne, I'm focusing on squeezing my butt really early. So my butt should start to squeeze now. I'm digging to the floor with my feet, I dig, I dig, I dig, I dig, I dig. I keep squeezing, keep pushing to the floor. And I come back down with control. Now, what I was trying to do at the top of the position was try to push a little more through my feet. Uh, and from that foot push, I'm trying to squeeze a little more through my glute, okay? So it's the point of contact that makes the difference, okay? So I'm trying to push harder through my feet, harder through my hands. Okay, I'm going to show that to you again so you can understand what's happening. So I'm here, first point of contact, hand to help me push back, feet to engage my glute. Okay, so create the connection all at the same time, and that's how I lift. Now I get to my top, where I feel like this is all I have left to go. No, you don't. Push a little harder with your feet, squeeze your butt, push a little harder with your hands. That's my true end range. If I really focus on pushing and squeezing properly, I can get a few inches higher with the right engagement, namely your glutes, your hamstrings, and your middle back. You will feel like a big pull throughout your pec and your uh, bicep tendon a little bit, that's normal, and you will feel like your chest is opening up quite significantly as well. If you, all you feel is like tweakiness, you're probably not pushing hard enough with your feet, you're probably not engaging hard enough with your abs, and you're not feeling your hamstrings, okay? So, Always be mindful of how you start the position. How you start dictates how you finish. So, single leg now. It's a little more trickier, but you set up one leg down. Opposite leg, I recommend pulling it up to your chest and not letting it sink, okay? So, a lot of people kind of start with this hip sunk, sunken down like this, and do a bridge like that, and it ends up being pretty awful. You can see my shoulder being all slouchy and weird. Not a good position, okay? So when you set up, you have to think about what you were doing earlier on a double leg bridge. You were trying to be stable and even, right? So you have to create that by pulling this tight and then starting to lift. So if I'm here, shoulder blades, pull, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And I come back down with control. Now it's even harder on this tabletop bridge on single leg to get those extra inches, so you have to be patient, okay? So if you watch me again, I was really patient at the top, waiting to see how much more push I can create with my foot, okay? If you're not patient, you'll just kind of like be, you know, in the same range of motion every time. You want to improve how well your hip can extend at the top. So that's how you do tabletop bridges. Um, those are two versions you can play with. Start with the double leg first. Don't get too, you know, too antsy about starting the new one, the progressed version. Double leg first for a while when you get better, then go to single leg. Okay? So, have this also superset in between your workouts as a warm up at the daily mobility exercise as well. For more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button.